this next person is so special. She's a legend. She is a heritage of Malaysia. She is an amazing songbird, a mother, a daughter, a friend, a girlfriend, a wife, a sister, and a girlfriend to many of us. She is Datuk Sheila Majid. Not only she has been in the industry more than 30 years, but she has won numerous awards. To name some, I probably just too long. She has 16 awards and she has four special award titles as well. She has 25 albums in Malaysia. She released eight albums in Indonesia, five in Japan and one in UK. Wow! You're amazing! And she's, uh, she has like video broadcasts and more than 10 of them. She did 52 concerts. 52 concerts? This is a record, man. And you know, she does a lot of endorsement as well, like more than 14 of them. But anyway, she's just amazing. And let's hear what she has to say about International Women's Day. Yes. Hi, Dato Sheila. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, Mel? I'm good. Happy International Women's Day. <laughs> Same to you. Yeah, to all the ladies out there, you know. To all the courageous, <laughs> strong ladies out there, virtual hug to all of you. So I will jump straight into the question for you. Okay. Okay, what does International Women's Day mean to you? International Women's Day is celebrating women, all age, all walks of life, you know. Um, women have always been the ones that are the movers and the shakers, if you ask me. Frankly speaking, because I find that women are multitaskers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are working, we are also a mother, we're also a wife, and you know, like, a, a lot of times when I joke with my husband, you know, he says he's head of the house, but I am the home minister that makes sure that everything is all, uh, you know, um, properly taken care of, yeah? So we're the ones that normally delegate work. We are the ones that always set up the schedules for our family, you know? And trust me, whenever you go home, the first question you will see will ask is, mana mak? Where's mom? <laughs> That's wow. always the first question. I notice that, you know, with my family and my children. It's like when there's no mom at home, there's no life. Everything is like dead pan. <laughs> you know, so uh, yeah, I, I think it's time that we celebrate women. I think it's time for us to actually value the, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, contribution to the world and also is is women are very important because all human beings starts with listening to a woman that's your mother you know very like true. correct so i think it's time we celebrate women and we value them you know i don't think we should look at them as second class because i don't know i think that's just culture yep, you know because big true. asians we always think that women their job is to just stay home, cook and clean and look after the children. Hey, that's work too, okay? At least if you go to work, 9 to yeah. 5, you come back, you can put up your legs and rest. Yeah. But being a mother and a, you know, a housewife, there's no way you can take even a minute off. The work keeps going on. 24-7. So correct. So it's time to appreciate women, guys, and children. Appreciate your mother. And, you know, we got to stand, stand strong. Like I said, we're multitaskers, you know. In fact, actually, a mother's role is very important because when you have values, you have principles and all that, those are the things that you impart to your children. And these are the pearls of wisdom that will make them grow up to have a better uh, attitude towards things. Yeah. Okay, what kind of women inspired you? I get inspired by um, strong women, you know, women that has their own opinions, 
uh, I may not agree with their opinion, but then like like you know you you disagree, you agree to disagree means yeah? yeah. So I like women who are strong that has an opinion, you know, uh, not obnoxiously strong lah, you know, within reason yeah, and making a lot of sense and uh, women who strive to the best of their ability in whatever they're doing and all the challenges that they're facing. But they still move ahead. They still move ahead, you know, without feeling defeated. I admire women like that. Yeah. And I learned that it's up to you to make your work, your 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 day interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, like for example, I always tell this to my children when they complain that they're bored, bored, bored. I say, hey, you know what? The day is going to be the same: morning, noon, evening, and night, and nothing's going to change unless you change it. So if you want to make your life interesting, you find something to do on that day that is productive something that you are excited about like a little bit of achievement like tanam chili ke, you know little little things that is um that is achievable don't yeah. go and think of doing something that is going to be a bit impossible to achieve because that's going to just bring down your your what do you call that uh smangat you know you will you will get demoralized so do things that are, are, are small and achievable, like for example, with this MCO. Mm -hmm. For me, it is hitting our industry the hardest because we would need mass gatherings to work. And mass gatherings is a no-no, right? So what I try to do is, since I have no work, I try to work on myself. So I've been running, you know, doing productive things to myself. I've been jump rope and then I try a bit of cycling, you know, and it keeps me excited and it keeps me looking forward to the next day, you know, like to see how much I have achieved. And um, I think that's very important for all of us, especially since we're going through this uh, uncertain times. Find something that will be productive for you, that is achievable, because that will make you feel actually like you're useless. You know, you go to bed thinking like, oh my God, today I did something productive. At least one thing that's productive for you, for yourself. Okay, describe yourself in one word. Easygoing. Good. Is that one word? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Easygoing, yes. <laughs> okay, how do you see uh, women in today's society? Okay. Uh, compared to what it was before, I see it now today. Women are a bit more uh, forward in in you know in education, in business. Um, there are more women that are out there than yeah. just being at home, which is fine, you know. Uh, but what I would like to remind women is, you don't have to be. Just because you're competing with the men out there, you don't have to be hard like the men. We are feminine. You know, we have a softer side to us. And I always believe that persuasion is better than aggression. That is our strength. You know, so don't try and be like the men. No need. Be yourself. You take what your femininity has that you can actually apply in your work. I think women today are so much, much more advanced than what we were before. I mean, you look at New Zealand as a woman prime minister. In fact, actually, I think Malaysia should also have a woman minister. That's what I think. Prime minister. So we need a bit more empathy. We need a bit more compassion. We need a bit more common sense. Because today, just because you have a degree doesn't mean you have common sense. We have True. seen around us, correct? You can have your PhD, your master's and all that, but still you're doing nonsensical things, which does not make sense. So there's a difference between educated and intelligence because you mm -hmm. can be educated and still be an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe my words are strong, but that's a fact today. Yeah. I think we, we need women leaders that really care about the people and the country. What makes you, just one thing, uh, that, make, uh, that makes you the happiest? Now, I think my family. Uh, my priorities have really changed, you know, Mel. When I was younger, you know, there were different, different things. 
But now what really makes me happy is to see my family being close-knit. Uh, what really makes me happy is to see that everything is enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't need anything more. But there's enough food at home. We have a roof over our heads. My children are healthy. My husband's healthy. I'm healthy. You know, little, little things like this. Name three things that make women strong. Don't really care about what other people's ju judgments are about. I think what, what, what normally demoralizes women is when they are so into getting approval from other people, you know? And um, what is important is people who matters. Mm -hmm. That's what I learned and that's what I have sort of, uh, uh, how shall I say it? That is something that I have taken into my life. I've been an artist since I was 18 years old. And there's so many netizens out there. You know, they will just want to throw personal attacks on you. Correct? Sabotage. But it doesn't matter. It does, I don't really care about that. I have learned to not care. Because to me, it's like those who are throwing personal attacks at me. Who are you? I read your name. Also, I don't know who you are. If you've done something really good about your life, then maybe I read your name, I will know who you are. So before you start telling me what to do and advise me, maybe you should use the advice for yourself because you're definitely not doing anything with your life because I don't know who you are. So you got to pick and choose, you know, the ones that send you constructive criticism. If they are people who are successful and you admire them and then they give you constructive criticism, yes, you can look into it and work your way to be better. But it's just personal attacks from some stranger. That's one person's opinion. Why are you going to let your whole life be ruined over that one person's opinion with whom you don't even know? Well, they know? Either, either they're just jealous or just get pochi. You know? Correct. So, you know what you should, like I said, first is confidence. Second is stop trying to get approval from other people. Mm -hmm. You know, with Yourself. all these social media, you put your your thing in Instagram, you want to count how many likes. That does not speak on what you are, who you are. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because the most important thing to me is not, is not so much reputation because reputation is what other people perceive you to be when it's not even true because the people who talk about you the most are always the people who know you the least. But what you need to work on is character, good character. Yeah. And this is what a lot of people have forgotten. They think by just pasting makeup on their face, looking good, designer outfits and all that kind of thing makes them a person. But when you get to know them, you'll be very disappointed because first they have nothing up there. Okay. And number two is like, they're just like a walking clothes hanger. There's no substance. And behave badly. Oh, that one cannot. I cannot. You know? So, we, in this world, in fact, actually, we are so into how many A's that your children get. What, they, what course is your daughter taking? What is her degree and all that kind of thing? What school yeah. are you in? <laughs> and then, exactly. And then the thing is, you are putting... Uh, some apple, what do you call that? Uh, this idea in your your children's heads that that's important. You forgot to build the character of the child. Where is his civics? Where is his manners? Where is his ethics? Where is his principles? Mm -hmm. Because you know why? When you build all that in your child, he's gonna grow up to be takis salah. Kalau tak ada PhD pun, at least dia ada conscience. Mm -hmm. He will not do things that are wrong because yeah. he has conscious, he's been brought up to know principles, ethics, civics, you know, empathy, compassion. This is what makes a person. And right now today, we have totally lost it. If you see outside today, you have people with PhDs but no ethics. I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't... I keep telling my kids, honestly, the A's are not important. I don't care if you don't get A's. I, I won't pain you, I say. <laughs> you know what I tell my children? I said, look, maybe you're not academically inclined. Because I'm not academically inclined. But it doesn't make me a failure. 
right? So basically, I know your strengths could be somewhere else in the arts or in other things. Lah. And that is as a parent, we need to focus and look where does their strength lie. Mm -hmm. And this is where we push and pursue because you know why? If they take up something they're interested in, they will excel. Yep. Don't push them to do something they don't like. Mm -hmm. So I tell my children, it's okay if you don't get straight A's, but I want to see you make the effort. If you make the effort and you still don't score, it's okay. Yeah. But at least I know you tried. Yeah. So I always I don't, have to just do yeah. your best. So I don't really mind them not getting straight A's. I would rather my children have good character because this good character is going to bring them a long way. They may not have a degree, but with a good character, you'll be surprised there will be people who want to come and help them. Yeah. Because they are nice. Correct? Yeah, you need to look into a long term and not a short term. Correct. Oh. So we better just concentrate and bringing up our children with good principles, good values, with ethics, empathy, compassion towards humanity. And hopefully they grow up to be good people. What's your favourite uh, movie that has a woman or a lady lead? Um, my God, you're asking me now. I can't even... Remember, I don't even have time to watch movie, Lamel. Really? What movie? What movie has got a strong woman that I've watched? The Queen. <laughs> that's a good one. The Crown. The Crown. The Crown. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, somebody something. just mentioned, yeah, it's like Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah. I think she has to be a tough lady. Iconic, yeah. Correct. I mean, you know, I do admire her in a sense because there are many difficult decisions that she had to make. You know, it's like one side is the duty, the other side is the family. It's difficult though to actually make a decision. And, most of, and some of the decisions she makes, obviously there are people who are not happy, but she has to do that particular decision. So her role is not very easy, you know. You Actually, cannot satisfy. You, you cannot make everyone happy or satisfied. Betul. Someone more. Right. Yeah. Anyway. All right. All right. Next, what advice would you give to your younger self? Finish your piano. <laughs> I didn't finish it, and I'm regretting it till now. <laughs> you wish to play yourself and sing at the same time. Well, actually, I don't really intend to play and sing, but I wish I could play. Just huh? You know, for, for fun, because you know when you were young, I took piano till I till grade five. Then I managed to, uh, how shall I say? I managed to call my dad to say that was that time I was form three. I had to sit for my SRP, so I need to concentrate on my on my form three. I cannot concentrate that and piano at the same time. So he said, "Okay, lah, stop for a while." I never took it up back. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. See, yourself to be but, <laughs> Exactly. But you know what? Because of that, I make sure my children, my eldest daughter, Kalida, she has finished piano till grade 8. Wow. And my, and my two younger ones are still taking piano. So, I just want them to finish. You know why, Mel? My children go to Mandarin school. Oh. Okay? Yeah. I, I send them their first six years Standard one to standard six to Mandarin school. I gave them piano lessons, uh, Quran lessons. These are the tools that I give them so that it can help them as they grow up. Because, you know, we're not going to be around forever, cushioning the fall. Yeah. So I told them, I'm, I'm giving you all these tools and hopefully with these tools, you can start looking at how you can earn. Mm -hmm. You, you, you didn't finish But God is, God is nice to you God give you a husband Who is good in piano <laughs> uh, <laughs> I cannot play I make him play <laughs> <laughs> Oh that's true That's, yeah. <laughs> that's true <laughs> So what's your favourite uh, Quote or words To live by Live These are all from my parents Yeah which I, I, I actually remember. One is live within your means. That's very important. Um, my father always says that if you want to do something, if you already have in your head where 
I'll do this lah. I'll see lah how long I'm going to like it and all that. Then you don't do it. Because you're not going to go to reach the end. You're wasting time. You might as well go into something that you really like. Even though you know from zero. But at least you'll do the research yourself. You'll try and better yourself. You'll try to improve yourself on it. Because you want to know. You have that interest. Yeah. And I always ask my mom uh, before. I say, does it pay to be good? Because you know, I see around like. Like so many people that, you know, had quite colorful past, but today they're living well and all that kind. And my mom is always forever telling us to behave, behave, we are girls, behave. And I'm like, does it pay to be good? I said, no. I asked her. I said, look around you. And she said, listen, it does. Because like it or not, if you behave badly, it is going to come and bite you in your butt one day. Yeah. It will come back. What comes what what comes around goes Correct. around. Yeah. So if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Superpower. One superpower. I would like to actually bring back nature, how nature was before, before we started raping it and abusing it in this world. Yeah. But you know what I really want, uh, Astro Tiber. I wish I could just be invisible and travel back to all those years so that I can see what actually happened. I love history. You know, I love Islamic history. I love British history and anything to do with history. Lah. So I'm, I'm actually um, intrigued by it. So I would like to go back to those days and watch how, you know, like the Ottoman Empire, how they used to live before. And then the British Empire, how it was before, even right to the point of my Prophet Rasulullah Sallallahu I would like to, but I'm just like a bayang bayang like shadow walking through everyone. I would love to be able to do that. Time traveler, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. I would love to go yeah. back and see their fashion as can well. Can you imagine if you go back and you can look at all their fashion at that time, <laughs> how things are being made? What well, those Amazing. Things, people really dress up, you know. They wear gentlemen wear hats and suits, you know. Even in a in a normal day, these uh, yeah. are always in their gown and dresses. A jacket. They even over here you see men in their kindly hat, but then they always wear a jacket. Yeah, those those are the uh, influ- you know being influenced by the British, right? But I don't know somewhere along the line, mm. everything became slicky. Mm. You know, you became lazy. You yes, know, yes. Clothes, t-shirts, jeans. Correct. Oh, okay. You know? It's a it's a nice day already. <laughs> My mom used to say like, "You bought that." You know, there was one time the beggar look was in. Remember the beggar look? Yeah. So I came home with this beggar look, and my mom said, "You bought that. You paid for <laughs> that." And she said, "You should have just given it to me. I can just cut, 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 and then free. You can look like beggar." <laughs> What's one goal you want to achieve this year? One goal that I want to achieve this year? Well, basically, I just want to make sure I'm healthy. That's all. Yeah. Uh, now, just tell me uh, last, last words you want to say to everyone. Or last, words, last words I want to say. Okay, uh, basically, I would like to wish everyone especially the women, since it's International Women's Day, right? Uh, to keep on going. Um, I know times are hard. Everyone's going through the same things, right? And, you know, there will be days when you're going to feel down and depressed. It's okay. It's okay not to be okay, all right? And, and also, stay positive. And when I say stay positive, I don't mean that you have to laugh and smile all the time. No, you know, but always have that hope in your heart that tomorrow will be a better day. And like I said, take up something, knitting, sewing, planting, cooking, whatever that's going to make you learn a new skill and be productive. That is what that's going to make you look forward to the next day because you feel as if like, you have done some kind of achievement. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you plant a tree every day, you go and look at the pot, you see the shoot and all that, that's hope. 
that will make you feel good. Achievement, instead of, right? <laughs> in, yes, instead of feeling useless. Don't feel defeated because you know why? Everyone's going, going through the same thing. Yeah. And it's up to you to make your life better. Yeah. Never allow anything or anyone ruin it. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's up to you to decide. Like I said, when people put you down, look at them. Who are they? Are you going to be taking it seriously? Who's this person? So don't let people put you down either. You know what you're worth and you know what you can do. You are stronger than you think you are. I never thought I could skip. I never thought I could do jump rope at 56 years old. But I took it as a challenge. At least that's something I can do every day and improve. And hey, I can do it. All right. I'm going to take that challenge as well. <laughs> you got your bike. I never thought I could ride my bike. But you saw <laughs> me riding my bike. You bought one, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And it keeps you healthy. That's yeah. a, that is the beauty of it. The challenge is making you feel productive. Mm -hmm. And hey, you know what? When all this is over, when you go out, when people look at you and say, hey, you're looking good. What have you done? That's the motivation. Instead of being a couch potato, and then when things open up, you're not ready. <laughs> and you need to lose weight pula. Lagi you feel depressed. So this is the time when you have all the time in the world, work on yourself. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Amazing. I think I should invite you for some kind of talk. Oh my God, I can talk till tomorrow, okay? And we give you the whole day in the ballroom. You talk, okay? <laughs> when things are better. Yeah. Do that. All right, thank you, you motivate man. motivate people, not just girls, but motivate everybody. Inspire yeah. everyone. We need to motivate each other. You are such a legend. Ayo, no la. Not only you can sing, but wow. <laughs> everyone has their own strength. I cannot sew, I cannot cut clothes, I cannot make like you. It's okay. I, uh -huh. Like I say, God is fair. There you go. <laughs> so everyone has their own strengths. And everyone, uh, how shall I say it? It's like if you give an exam in general to all animals and the exam is climbing a tree, obviously the fish is going to think he's a failure, right? For the rest <laughs> of his life, right? Yeah. So like I said, Everybody has their own strength. Don't compare yourself to anyone. No. You yeah, need never. to find what your strength is. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Take care. Stay safe. I Bye. see you on the WhatsApp. Yay. Bye, darling. Bye.